welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we have of course a primark haul today if you missed my last video i actually took you guys around the traffic center store showed you everything that was new in did a little bit of vlog footage did some damage let's jump into today's video make sure you're sitting ready with a nice cozy drink or if like me you're on the refreshing drink today because for me i'm quite hot it's humid outside so diet iron brew it is i have lots of homeware bits i have some clothes to try on i didn't actually purchase as many clothes as i would like to have purchased partly because to be honest with you i don't know i just feel like this summer has been the most bizarre summer so far in terms of weather that I don't actually feel like I've got that much use out of my summer clothes. So, that being said, I didn't want to go overboard, but I did pick up a couple of bits. But anyway, I'll show you all the other bits first before I do do the try on clip. So, oh, first of all, this bag, which is lovely, by the way. It's got a nice drawstring closure as well, so that obviously if you've got valuables in there taking it to the beach or whatever, you know, they're going to be safe and securely stowed away and they're not going to be of access to hands from behind if you know what I mean so I really like that anyway we have um we have uh, tomato sauce yes yeah we've got ketchup we've got mayo we've got brown sauce we've got salad cream all right do I want some sour cream and crisps yes good shout I love you too, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> We're having barbecue tonight, and Tom's on the uh, butcher's run. He's off to buy some food. Right, oh god, it's just, just so overwhelming. I've just bought so much stuff, I don't know where to begin. Should I just empty out all of these bits that I bought in this bag here first? So, first and foremost, who knew the Primark did tissues box of unbleached facial tissues this is from the wellness section of course my favorite section that primark have one pound and this is actually to go inside that little house tissue box holder that i've got from home bargains we've got some doggy products i love the fact that they have a pet section now in primark they also have a maternity section so yeah this is biodegradable odor neutralizing pet wipes for cats and dogs two pound for this pack you get 15 wipes in there. Then I also got this again from the pet section for £2.50, pet detangle and perfume spray. So you can just put this kind of on in between washes. This is in coconut and honey fragrance with aloe vera, nice. Suitable for puppies too. They did have, I've seen online, a paw and nose balm, which I wanted to get my hands on, but our Primark didn't have any unfortunately so we'll keep my eyes peeled for that in future oh this is quite pet heavy at the minute so sorry if you don't have pets two pound for a little pet hemp brush she's got a few different brushes and grooming tools and i'm just trying to work out which is the best one for him and for his coat actually what if you sent me a picture of this and this is one of the reasons why i was like right that's it i'm off to primark it's been a while and there's obviously a new in stock that i am missing out on so it's a little canvas bag full of little stainless steel pegs that's what they look like i also got this for barney it's actually from the baby section but he seems to love little plush toys like these. These are the only ones that he doesn't actually destroy. Actual dog toys that are durable, you know, long lasting. Not in our household. It's these ones that tend to last a while. So £3.50. I just thought that was so cute. Okay, I've got a whole load of these different kind of room sachets, drawer sachets, scented sheets. Just because there's so many new fragrances that I wanted to try and some old faves as well. One pound these ones are, by the way. This one is in sandalwood and leather. Sounds divine. This one is in the scent Restore. Then this one's kind of similar as well. It was from the same, was, they were side by side. Minimals. God knows what that smells like, but looks good. Then I also got this one, Eucalyptus. I've had this one before and really liked it. And then I've got this one, Wisteria Blossom. How pretty is that one? The gold font and the Wisteria, love that. And then last but not least, Juniper and Jade. Now I'm not gonna lie, these don't last the longest. They say up to four weeks, but I would say after a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, I tend to stop being able to smell it. And it's also more potent 
in smaller rooms so bear that in mind like I always put them in my downstairs loo and um, the little pantry outdoor back door area the front door kind of porch area that kind of place and then or also in wardrobes it's always a good place to put them so yeah lemon and lavender cute little glassed candle how nice is this so I love the oh my god that smells so good you know sometimes with cheaper candles they're just not that good £3.50 this one is not only does it look really expensive really nice I rate the smell of that one as well and now I need to sneeze again from the oh nearly dropped it from the wellness section I picked up this calming hand gel £1.50 scented orange blossom chamomile flower with hyaluronic acid as well let's pop on a bit of this nice doesn't have that kind of horrible sticky sensation that um like gloopy sticky sensation that cheap ones tend to have oh okay this i'm really excited for they have a whole new range of scented essential oils so i've got a couple actually of essential oil diffusers that quite honestly i don't even have out yet because i'm waiting for the rooms to be finished upstairs and then i'm going to put one in every room because they are so good and um, so i'm testing and trying all different kinds of cheaper oils because if you can get a really nice cheaper oil it's really expensive to keep buying it well i say it's expensive to get the nice ones it's not because you use the tiniest amount and they do last a long time and they're not extortionate at like white company i think they're about eight to ten pounds for this sort of size i mean this one is one pound and they had loads of different scents i love the kind of glass bottle amber glass bottle awaken this one's called should we give it a sniff i prefer the white company ones <laughs> Maybe I should just stick with the white company ones. Okay, on to the bit brown bags now. I was going to say big bags. Big brown bags. I've got two of these towels. If you remember from my white company dupes video, I mentioned that they do a towel kind of similar to this for outdoor living. And yeah, I kind of thought this would be ideal for that. For sitting out in the garden on a towel. To be honest with you, at the minute, I feel like we're lacking towels anyway because all the nice ones were away in storage. So I picked these ones up because they are now in the sale. £9 down to £6. Yeah, that's ketchup. Hi, Barney. Good boy. Hi, look how big you are. Oh, just put on hand sanitizer. That probably doesn't smell very nice, does it? Where's Daddy? So anyway, he's gone. Yeah, two towels I picked up just so that me and Tom can have one each. And I love the beige and white stripe. I think they did them in black and white as well. So I picked up two of their gift bags. They had a, a wide range actually, but these were my two favourites. So this one for a more generic kind of palm leaf with the gold and white. I just like the look of that one. This one was one euros, 30 cents. Then this one, it was only one pounds. And I thought this would be cute for like a little baby shower gift, a little child, a Disney lover, because I would appreciate this gift bag, I'm not going to lie. Little Winnie the Pooh and Tigger on it, I just thought that was so cute and good to kind of stop her away in my little gift bag drawer that I have. Okay, essentials, woohoo, love these. So I actually picked up two of these. I get them in the small, which is 10 to 12, and they're five pounds for this set. It's, um, I was going to say the bra that I particularly love, but to be honest with you, I love the thong as well. Like, they're just a good, comfy staple pair. So, um, yeah, picked up two of the nude, because they're the ones I tend to wear most. And then one of the black. They had a couple of new colours in as well, actually, and like a really nice dark charcoal grey. grey. But they are the colours that I tend to wear most frequently. I also got this pack of seven different styles of trainer socks all in nice neutral color palette so yeah two pound fifty for seven pairs is good and then lastly from the primark home section i got this jumbo storage bag two pounds it's beige and white stripes but honestly loving these at the minute in the move the renovations and everything like that we have no furniture 
bar the bed and the sofa and that's pretty much it so no wardrobes no drawers or anything like that which is uh, driving me insane so these are my lifesaver i just have these kind of stop part stop part like piled up in the room honestly it's a journey this whole renovation thing it's a journey but even when we do have our wardrobes properly fitted and everything like that these are going to be really handy for storage anyway either in the wardrobes down in the basement or even just under bed storage you know that kind of thing so yeah picked up that for two pounds i thought it was a bargain and finally moving on to a few clothing items that i picked up this little set from the wellness section was adorable i love the little hangers that you get from the wellness section as well so cute um but yeah this is the little cami top, which I picked up in a medium, 12 to 14. I always tend to size up in my pyjamas. The top was £7. It is creased now that it's been in the bag, but it's a really nice kind of oatmeal, almost marl colour. And with a little cute frill detail, adjustable straps as well. I feel like the wellness section always has clothes just slightly better made. And usually the price point vouchers for that. They're just a pound or two higher than what you would ordinarily pay. The shorts are seven pounds as well. So see 14 pounds for a set of PJs that ordinarily you could probably purchase in Primark for like a fiver for the set. Um, which are really nice actually and usually super soft as well. But I do find these a bit more long lasting. I have another set that I got in a sage green color from the wellness section last time I went and they're my favorite pair of pajamas i love them anyway these are the matching little shorts again so it comes with pocket details frills they're just slightly better made and um, i've got a small in the bottoms which is a 10 to 12. Okay, i won't bother showing you this on either but it's just a wrap skirt which honestly i have no holidays planned i don't know when i'm next going to be on a beach or by a pool but when i do this is going to be a great staple to own so I got it in a small and it was eight pounds. It's made from the most beautiful fabric that I just think will be perfect poolside. Love this little knot bow on the side. I honestly really rate this. This is one of those things that I just will have in my summer section in my wardrobe or holiday section in my wardrobe. And I know with a white swimsuit and this, it's gonna be my favorite kind of holiday outfit. Love that. So I got two dresses and a play suit. I think I'll show you the play suit first. It's in a small 10 to 12, ecru is the color, and this is 10 pounds. So this I'm thinking, I mean, it looks like a relaxed fit painter style play suit, you know, that you just throw on for around the house, but actually it's made from really nice fabric and looks really nice. It's kind of sheer thin. Should we just try it on and see what it looks like? Okay, I do kind of like this. I think it's really cute. I mean, it is a bit, like, I feel a bit exposed in a sense. It is kind of short. It is quite floaty and flowy, which is quite nice. Um, but obviously, it's quite low at the sides. And the back, it depends on how tight you do the straps, could be seen as a kind of a bit more baggy, looser fit. So I have actually just popped on the Primark bra and underwear set. So you obviously can't see through it, which is good. It's not as sheer as what I thought it was going to be. But because it is kind of skimpy, it's definitely, I think, a holiday piece or something that I would probably just wear potting around the house during the summer. And those really hot days that you just want floaty loose lightweight comfortable material then this is just a good throw on and um, good for like catching sun rays as well you could always just tie these straps around underneath so it's more of a strapless little play suit yeah it's kind of cute so anyway i'm going to show you the next item on now this is a kind of safari style uh shirt dress Got a little collared detail button down and i love the little cinch in waist that it's got so hopefully i'm gonna love this let's try it on it's in a size 12 and it's 15 pounds so this is what this dress looks like i do feel like this color on me in particular i probably just need to pop a little bit of fake tan on i'm feeling a little bit pasty at the moment but um, never mind. A really nice midi length, good to kind of just have your knees covered if you prefer. And the tie waist on this is quite high up, which I love. Sometimes if it's a bit lower down, I end up like hoisting it up, tying it around my waist, and then having excess material fold over here. Whereas this, I feel, fits quite nicely around the waist. So yeah, 
The um, only thing I would say negative is when I put it on, I went to put my hands in pockets and it doesn't have any. Obviously it just has the pockets up top. So I feel like that would be a nice little touch, but apart from that, I feel like it's a really nice little dress. And then the last dress that I have to try on, there's not much shape and structure to it. It's in a size 12, it's a bit creased, so we'll just have to ignore that. 15 pounds. And I feel like this is going to be a love it or hate it kind of dress because of the style of it. It's almost like an apron style made dress that is almost a bit antiquated, I want to say. But just, I don't know, there's something about this I can imagine just, again, I know I sound like a broken record, but pottering around the garden just a throw on dress that is so lightweight and comfortable in the heat. But actually, it's quite classy. What do we think? So yeah, 15 pounds again in a 12, let's try this one on. Okay, ignoring the fact that I have a zero fake tan on right now and could definitely do with some with this color because you have to be really careful. I do think when I've got a bit of a tan, I think I will love this dress. I just like how floaty and comfortable and throw on of a piece it is. But yet you're quite covered, you know, it's below the knee. It's quite a fairly high neckline. I just love it. It's yeah, I just love it. Really, really like it. I feel like a proper housewife in it, I'm not going to lie, but that's kind of the vibe I like. It's the vibe I'm going for. Just watch me cooking away my banana bread in the kitchen, like domestic goddess in this dress, whilst the sun's out, the doors are open leading into the garden, the dog's off running in the garden, playing in the sunshine. Tom's en route home for his dinner. I don't know. I'm living in an imaginary world in this dress, but I do really like it. I think for £15 it is an absolute bargain. It obviously needs an iron, and that's probably not a good sign, the fact that it needs an iron. It's maybe one of those dresses that's going to need an iron every single time, and I'm not a fan of ironing, despite me going on about being a domestic goddess. Anyway, that is everything that I picked up on this trip to the Trafford Centre Primark. If you want any more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below subscribe for more and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys p.s hint hint if you like pumpkins and autumn stuff from home sense you're gonna like my next video